So United Way East Ontario, we believe that every child across our region, from Prescott Russell, Lanark, Renfrew County, and Ottawa, deserve a great life. So whether that's safe spaces where they can hang out and play, or on the topic of our Community Builder of the Year Award, mental health supports. So YouthNet's mission is to be a bilingual for youth by youth organization, serving youth age 13 to 20 in the Ottawa area. We aim to reduce stigma, promote positive coping challenges, and above all else, adhere to our youth engagement principles. YouthNet is receiving United Way's Community Builder of the Year Award for several reasons. One, we know that coming out of the height of pandemic, young people are experiencing crises across the board. And we know that young people are asking for support. And YouthNet does this job really well. A lot of times we try to approach mental health with a one-size-fits-all approach. Okay, just do this therapy, just do this thing. And we don't take into account like, are these youth, you know, are they BIPOC youth? Are they like LGBT youth? Like, what communities do these youth belong to? The BIPOC pilot program I was part of allowed me to bring my voice as someone who identifies as part of the BIPOC community uh, and really communicate about the different barriers that racialized youth face in accessing mental health services. Similarly, in some of our intervention programs like Pens and Paint, Winter Wellness, Rooted, we're still giving them those opportunities to advise what they want to do every session. It's not like we make the session plan, they tell us what they want to do. So in every domain of our services, we're really just asking them what they think. And I think that in itself is so empowering because often youth aren't asked what they think. In terms of youth mental health, I definitely feel that something that we're doing really well is reducing the stigma by bringing in youth perspectives. So I feel like, again, YouthNet does a really good job of being the, that platform for us to share our voices. And that's something that's so important because we can help in identifying the problem and you can't really solve a problem without being able to know what it is. Today we are here at YouthNet headquarters with artist Kay Soy and members of the Youth Advisory Committee to create a mural that's based on the themes of hope, happiness and strength. It was very calming for me and I really loved the activity. We also got to collaborate and we had to like do the paint at like a specific time and it really helps with communicating with others. It was good practice. I loved the activity today because yes, we did have um, adults who helped us and adults who supported us, but it was really led by youth and it was wonderful painting and seeing our ideas come to life and our input really making a change of how it worked. This art piece will continue to live in YouthNet space and will be a tool that young people can use to decompress during their sessions or just as a conversation starter. I get to see the youth and the programs that I do um, and they're so bright and like so intelligent have so many amazing ideas going forward and I'm seeing like okay even though there's negative things going on online or I see negative things in community I come here and I'm like okay the youth are all right actually. What brings me hope right now with YAC and with YNRA is seeing and being able to experience the adults and the professionals who bring their support to us and give us the tools that we need. Collaborations like these with United Way and other organizations in our community help put us on the map. As a small organization with only a few staff, it's always super helpful to have a bigger organization in our corner advocating for us.